Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about health probes in Azure Container Apps. Azure Container Apps went generally available just a few days ago at Microsoft Build 2022. And this is the first video that I'm releasing after Container Apps getting its general availability. Distributed systems has many components working together to achieve a goal. And there is an orchestration system behind these components or containers for managing the life cycle and scaling of these containers. And this orchestration system should be aware of the health status of the containers to increase the overall health of the application or the user experience. For example, with this, it can avoid directing traffic unless the container is healthy or it can restart the container if it does not behave in the expected way. If the container is not working, the orchestration engine will know about this through the health probes and it will restart the container to bring it back to its normal functional state. And this is why we need health probes. If you are already familiar with Kubernetes health probes, this is not something new to you because the health probes in Azure Container Wraps are built on Kubernetes health probes. We have three types of health probes in Azure Container Wraps. We have Liveness, Readiness and Startup. Liveness health probe reports the overall health of your replica. If this fails, Container Wraps environment will restart your container and Readiness probe will inform Container Wraps environment that the container is ready to receive HTTP traffic. Unless this is ready, Azure Container Wraps environment will not direct HTTP traffic to that container. If your container takes too long to start, we can configure the startup probe as well. This will let Azure Container Apps environment know that your container is not ready to receive liveness or readiness traffic. Liveness probes are used to tell the environment when to restart a container. For example, in cases like deadlock scenarios, it is possible to fix the application by restarting it. And readiness probes can be used to let the container orchestrator or container apps environment know that the container is ready to start accepting traffic. One use of this signal is to control which containers are used as backends for serving HTTP requests. When a container is not ready, it is removed from the load balancers. And finally, we have startup probes. These are used when it takes longer for your container to start up. If such a probe is configured, it disables liveness and readiness checks until this succeeds. And this can be used in slow starting containers avoiding them getting killed by the orchestration system before they have been running. And there are two types of health probes based on the protocol. We have HTTP and TCP. And HTTP probes allow you to implement custom logic to check the status of application dependencies before reporting a health status. Basically with this, you can implement custom logic, custom HTTP endpoint to check whether you have everything ready before accepting traffic. And then we have TCP probes. This is a simpler approach. Basically, TCP probes wait for a connection to be established with the server to indicate success. If the connection is a success, Container Apps environment will assume that a container is functional. Now, this is an example of a HTTP probe implementation. As you can see, it is a simple node application. If you send a GET request to this application, it's going to check for the database availability and it checks the file system structures and things like that. There will be all the checks that this container requires to function properly and if all are okay, the endpoint returns a 200, otherwise it returns a non-successful HTTP code. Now if you look here, if the status code is greater than or equal to 200 or less than 400, the result is considered a success. Any other response code outside this range indicates a failure. And there are some restrictions that you should know about. When you work with Container Apps Health Probes, you can only add one of each probe type per container. For example, you can't have two readiness probes for one container. And in Kubernetes, we have exec probes. So basically with exec probes, you can run, you can invoke an application inside of that container and based on the result of that invocation, based on the exit code, for example, Kubernetes will determine the health status of that container. We don't have exec probes in Azure Container Apps. And the third point, port values must be integers, named port aren't supported, and gRPC is also not supported. Now that we know what health probes are, let's solidify our understanding with few demos. For a demo, we're going to publish this application to Azure to test 
how health probes work. As you can see, it is a simple ASP.NET MVC application and we have this home controller. Let me add few things here. I'm going to add a list of strings to keep our probe logs and then I'm going to add a method that will add the messages that are being logged into this list. And then I'm going to add this default action method and I'm going to pass in the host name of the container to the weave bag with the name instance ID and I'm returning the weave and after that I'm going to add the liveness probe. So basically the container apps environment will invoke this endpoint here home slash liveness to check whether my container is alive. All right so now I have added the action method now I'm going to log this when container apps environment invokes it and then I'm going to do something interesting here. If the count of the logs are less than one, I'm going to return OK. Otherwise, I'm going to return a bad request. So what I'm doing here is that for the first 10 probes, I'm going to return OK. After that, I'm going to return bad request. This is an experiment and let's see how Kenton Wraps environment reacts to this. Now let me show you the CSHTML page of this action method. And here, as you can see, I'm returning the logs and the instance ID. And if we go into the CSHTML page, here I'm displaying the instance ID and the logs. And now I need to deploy this to Azure. For that, I have created this script here. First, I'm building the image and then I'm pushing it to my Docker Hub public registry. And then I'm creating a resource group and then I'm deploying this ARM template here. And that template contains two resources. As you can see, it has a container apps environment and after that it has a container app and I'm referencing the docker image I'm pushing here. Now let me run this part of the script to build and push my docker image. Now my image is getting built. Now let me run this script here to create the resource group and deploy the template file that I've shown you earlier. F8. All right, the template is getting deployed now. That's done. Now let me go into Azure portal and here we can see the container apps environment and the container app. I'm going into the container app and if I click on this application URL, as you can see, the application works and we can see the instance ID, the host name of the container as well. Now it's time for us to test the health probes. Let me go back into Azure portal and I'm going to scroll down a bit and here we have the container section and this is also known as the revision scope so basically the changes that you make in this section will create a new revision please go ahead and watch my previous video if you want to understand how revisions work and here we have three tabs and the last one is health probes and as you can see we have liveness readiness and startup probes and we don't have any probes created yet I'm going to edit and deploy this revision here and as you can see here we have the container and scale. I'm going to click on this container here, container image and here we have health probes tab. Now what I'm going to do is since I have only deployed liveness probe, I'm going to create only the liveness probe from here. I can click on enable liveness probe and here you can select the type of transport that you want to be used for your health probe. You can go with TCP, HTTP or HTTPS. I'm going to go with HTTP and the path it's going to be home slash liveness because if I go back into my application and this is the home controller and I have the method liveness. Let me go back. Now the port is going to be port 80 and here we have two settings, initial delay seconds and period. So basically we can add a few seconds here to delay the probing functionality and we can specify the period as well. So basically if I put two here, the probing mechanism will invoke the container every two seconds. And here we have additional steps as well, such as timeout period for the probes and success threshold and failure threshold. For example, if the container apps environment notice that the probe has failed three times consecutively, it's going to decide that the liveness probe fails. All right, now I have configured all the parameters I need. Here you can add custom HTTP headers as well to the HTTP request. And I'm going to save this probe. 
and now I have to create a new revision as well. All right, now we have deployed a new revision successfully. And if I click on refresh button here, as you can see, we have two revisions. I'm going to go with this one. And that is the new revision. And here we have the probe created. Now, if I go into the application and refresh it, as you can see, we're getting the liveness probe logs. Let's see what happens. As you can see here, now it's starting from the zero. And that is because after first 10 requests, the application or this action method, it's going to return a bad request. When the container apps environment sees this response, it's going to restart the container. And that is why we are seeing the logs getting reset. And also you can see that the instance ID is changing as well. And sometimes it doesn't work as well as you can see. And that happens because the liveness probe fails, the container apps environment has to create new containers and it has to reconfigure the ingresses and load balances and all that. And that is why this is happening. And now that you saw how liveness probes work, let me go back into Visual Studio and add readiness and startup probes as well. Now let me add a new action method. Let me call this one readiness and it's going to return OK no matter what. And I'm going to change the log message as well. All right. And I'm going to add another one here. Let me call it startup. I'm going to change the log message as well. All right. Now we have readiness probe and startup probes implemented. Now let me go back into Visual Studio Code and change the container version here. And I'm going to change this one as well, the image that the container apps will be using. In my previous demo, I have shown you how to configure health probes using the Azure portal. If I go back to the revision section and if I click on the, the container image and health probes, and this is where I have configured the health probes. Now in this demo, I'm going to use the ARM template to create the health probes. Now let me go back. And here in the container section that is under the template or the revision scope, we have the container image and we can add the probe functionality in this area. So what I can do is I can add probes like this and this is an array. Let me create our first probe. The type it's going to be liveness. All right. And this is a HTTP GET request. Now let me type HTTP GET and it is going to be a JSON object. And here I can specify the path. The path was home slash liveness. All right. And the port is going to be 80. And here we can specify HTTP headers as well. Just like the functionality that we had in the UI. In addition to path and the port, we can specify the initial delay seconds. I'm going to add three seconds here and period seconds as well. The initial delay and the frequency of the probes. All right. I have added our first HTTP probe and we can add multiple HTTP probes. Now let me copy this one and create another. All right. Now let me change the type here. I'm going to make this one readiness, this one startup. All right. And I'm going to change the method name as well. Now let me change the period seconds of my readiness probe. And now I'm going to get rid of this from my startup probe. Now this is how you can configure HTTP probes from your Azure resource template. So basically the script will create a new revision. Now let me change this one as well. So basically the Docker image to v2 and I'm pushing that image and I'm going to redeploy the group. And now let me redeploy it. All right. Now let me go back into Azure portal and here we only have two revisions. And if I click on the refresh button, as you can see, we have three revisions. This is the newest revision. And if you go into health probes here, we can see the liveness probe and scroll down a bit. We can see the readiness and the startup probe as well. And now if I go into the 
web application and I'm going to refresh it. The first thing that I've noticed is that the instance ID that's changed. The first probe that the application has received is the startup probe as you can see and it has received a readiness and liveness probes. We can see these probes since I have displayed them in our application but if you want to see them in logs here as you can see I am logging the message I'm writing in the console and I'm writing the log using logger as well. Now if I go back into Azure portal and scroll down a bit and go into log stream and as you can see this has scaled to zero instances let me refresh it and I'll refresh it now we have one replica and as you can see it is possible for us to weave the logs using the log stream as well all right now this is the end of this video I want to introduce you to health probes in Azure container apps in this video if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments below or any video suggestions as well. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learned something new today. I will see you with another video like this soon and thanks for watching.